Guy in the back takes advantage of the blind spot in a person's view, hiding behind men all year round. At dinner time, the man always feels that there is another person in the house, but he can't spot Roy. The man turns to his left, Roy is on his right, eating his food. Roy's skills were developed in prison, always playing the guards for fools. He was a graduate of a prestigious university, he's always living in a foster home. He'd put flyers on people's doorknobs, if no one tears them up after a few days. It means no one is home, he pries open the door and goes in for a few days. He doesn't steal anything when he goes in, he just eats drinks and lives there. He even helped the family with the housework, washing clothes and stuff. He would fix things that were broken. He lived this way for many years. One day he went into a villa. When he went to bed, he found the lady of the house at home. She had a wound on her face. It seemed that the woman was unhappy with her life. Lisa wasn't alarmed. The two of them became attached to each other through their slow companionship. Then Roy took her away from the villa, and so Lisa followed Roy. One day they entered the house. They happened to bump into the old man's son coming home. After that Roy went to prison. When he got out, he found Lisa. Since seeing Roy, Lisa, and she started to feel better. Lisa celebrated his release from prison. She cooked a table full of good food, and so Roy kept hiding behind her, but the other man never knew. There was always someone behind him. It's a film that was made in 13 days. An Empty Room, a film that cannot be understood even after 13 viewings. From the moment Roy meets Lisa, there is not a single word spoken between them. The film is wordless. It's all prison cell. The prison guard is looking for the prisoner. He is unaware that the prisoner is actually hiding behind him. The prisoner Roy has practiced many times. Finally, he has developed a real-life version of stealth. When the guard came to check the cell for the first time, Roy was not in his cell. The guards were very nervous. He opened the cell door. It turned out that Roy was standing close to the door. From the outside you couldn't see him at all. The guard went up to him and gave him a big slap. No more food for you today. Roy was not impressed. He started to look at the walls of the cell, trying to climb up. The second time the guard came back to check the cell. Again Roy was nowhere to be seen. He thinks he must be hiding by the door again. The boy wants to be beaten up again. The guard opens the door. There's no one around. He's not really escaped is he but when he looked up roy was hanging from the door frame the guard cursed and knocked him down next time you molest me i'll beat you to death when the guard left in a huff roy however smiled smugly then he went back to practicing his stealth skills he opened his arms wide with his eyes fixed on the hands on either side because the human eye can see 180 degrees in front of them he practiced this method of avoiding blind spots the key to stealth is not to make a sound with your feet the third time the guards came to check the room again he looked through the window and saw that no one was there the guard was furious and opened the door he saw roy's clothes on the floor there was no one above or around the walls the room was bare and no one was hiding where's the strange man so Roy was hiding behind him, taking advantage of the blind spot in the guard's eyes, and what happened after that was even prisoners playing hide and seek with the guards. The guards can't find him. Inmate Roy is barefoot and silent. He carefully follows the guard's movements, predicting where the guard will land next, and his next move. But the guard is not stupid. By the shadow of the ground, he saw Roy hiding behind him. How dare this boy molest me, and beat Roy up again. Roy, however, was happy, for he had taken his invisibility to the next level. Then he drew an eye on his hand. He used the eye as a viewpoint for others. He used the blind spot to study stealth. This time the guards came back to check on him. He saw that Roy had disappeared again. The guard was furious. You've molested me three times. I'll beat you to death this time. But when the guard went inside, something was wrong. Not only was there no one in the house, not even a shadow this time. As the guard was confused, Roy tapped him in the back, and then he punched him in the face. The guard was even more confused. He didn't even look at him before he was hit. Just as he was about to get up, he was punched out again. He couldn't even see him. He closed the cell door. If the prisoner did escape, it would be a problem. He looked through the window and still no one was there. Roy was like a ghost. Within a few days Roy was released from prison. The first thing he did when he got out of prison was to use his invisibility to get back at those who had bullied him and then sneak into his girlfriend's house. One night, his girlfriend saw a figure. The woman knew it was Roy returning. It was late at night. The woman got up quietly. She stood in front of the mirror. Roy does appear behind her. The man comes out without noticing anything. The woman says I love you to the man she's bored with. The man thinks the woman approves of.